a fused spine is not a normal spine. It definitely damages inadvertently every other level of the spine. The spine doesn't work in synchronously anymore. When I think about the potential of motion preservation in the neck, I tend to go back to, to the basic science. We can really get a sense in the lab of the changes that are happening uh, in, a, in a spine when you compare a device like the PCM to a uh, traditional fusion where you're stiffening the segment. But now with the PCM and cervical arthroplasty, it's more natural, it's more balanced. Patients will naturally find the position that's uh, best for the muscle. PCM stands for porous coated motion, a device that um, can be inserted in between two bones in the neck. The PCM device has a very, uh, very elegant coating that allows for stability of the implant over time. And then the motion part of it refers to the fact that it's like a total knee instead of uh, putting a piece of bone in between two bones and turning your neck into a stick and making it stiff, uh, the device is designed to function like a knee over time and allow for mobility of that segment. If you do a fusion, then the surgeon has to pick what position the patient's spine is going to be in the rest of their life. With the PCM, it's the exact opposite. Now, early on when we designed it, we thought we'd need screws and we'd need flanges to keep it in place, but we cut it down to be low profile. And what we found is the own ligament tension keeps the prosthesis in place. Now, we were able to make it reproducible by putting in teeth. They're called the V-teeth, which maximizes the uh, gripping force. The whole key is being able to find out how people do two years later, uh, four years later, five years later, and now, you know, we're approaching 10 years after the surgery this December. First case uh, was actually December 9th, uh, 2002. And the first case in the United States was 2005. Getting patients in for their visits, getting them enrolled in a study, and then more importantly, having them follow up is a huge undertaking and takes a village of people to do it. So we were able to involve uh, 20 different surgical sites with an average of uh, three or four surgeons at each site. When we started the PCM, I was delivered five inch binders that are huge and heavy. Each one weighs almost 10 pounds and it's full of papers, all of which need to be filled out at each visit that the patient comes. It's to keep people safe. It's to make sure that they do well and that every little piece of information is captured and forwarded to the FDA so that we can make sure that a safe and effective product goes on the market. The initial results are, are very promising for motion preservation. And for me, this was the first time in my practice that I truly felt like there was a, a seismic shift uh, that was going to happen, both for myself and for the patients that I operate on. Sergeant testing is the classic a policeman who is strong like bull. Guys like him, they are not going to complain. I mean, for them to complain, they have to be at the point where they're they're not they're not functioning. The the pain was almost crippling. Um, I mean, I there are many nights I slept standing up, leaning over, you know, like a television set to relieve stress off my neck. I mean, at the time I was a police officer on motorcycles, and I. I you know, I tried to stay active and pretty much got to a stage that I couldn't get on the motorcycles anymore. I pretty much got regulated to sitting behind a desk. You know, law enforcement is the only job I ever dreamed of doing. If I didn't get some kind of relief and some kind of a fix to the problem, I knew I was looking at something that was going to be career ending for me. He is the patient that the device is designed for and sort of he represented the hope of, of this device. You know, a young man who can be fixed and go back and not be a burden on the healthcare system. I started waking up from the surgery and really starting to be aware of what was going on around me. Um, the immediate thing that I noticed is that I, I had regained full sensation in my, my arm and my fingers. Um, you know, I, I could feel my fingertips and all four fingers and a thumb. I didn't have the numbness down the back of my arm. 
I, I was excited because I knew I wasn't going to be restricted in what I did in the future. That I was, I was really confident that with the PCM, that I'd be able to go back and do my job, um, you know, with very little, if any, uh, limitations. When I returned to riding motorcycles for pleasure, it was, um, it was like I'm back in the saddle. Prior to the surgery, I. I just didn't feel like I had a lot. So I, I'm back to living a life that it, any, any father would want to live. I'm a professional wildlife photographer, so my passion is being outside, being in nature, and sharing this wonderful world with others. My husband and I, we teach photo workshops, we also lead photo tours. And in order to do what I love to do, I have a lot of camera gear I have to carry. And because of that, my body gets put through a lot of stress, and that's both with my back and especially with my neck. Her whole life depended on her being able to do freelance, travel around the world, Antarctica, uh, go to Kenya to photograph baboons. But she was on the back of Jeeps, and she had to use a neck collar because every time the Jeep went over a bump, her arm would go numb and her left arm would go weak. And I was prepared to do the ultimate of having a neck fusion if that's what it took. I had to do something. I could not live with the pain any longer. It was a blind trial, as I guess they call it. I could have had a fusion or I could have had the cervical disc replacement and I was lucky enough to draw the replacement. I woke up almost immediately and especially the next day I had no headache for the first time in years Waking up, I, I didn't have a headache, it was great. It's, it's mind releasing, it's soul releasing. You, you feel so good because you suddenly realize that I don't have to live with this pain any longer. It's now been seven years since I've had my surgery and I have to say I still am pain free. I have absolutely no loss of motion. I can look down, I can look up, I can go sideways, I can carry my gear without my arms going to sleep or anything. I can't imagine what it would be like if I wouldn't have had it. It changed my whole future, it changed my life, a life without pain. Seeing how well the PCM worked for me and the recovery that it brought to my life, I just look forward to other people having that same opportunity.